Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Oh, boy. Oof. Sorry if I'm a little disheveled looking. We were uh, out hiking. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year coming up. Um, I wanted to talk to you because today is Friday, Christmas Day, and Sunday, I am doing a free live stream on manifestation. In fact, it's the first in a whole series of free manifestation live stream uh, here on Facebook because, um, I mean, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, I can't wait for 2020 to be over, but like, like we think 2021 is going to be then, you know, a tea party or something like we can already see going in that there's a lot of chaos right now. But here's the thing, like, um, hi, cat, <laughs> where, where there's a lot of chaos, a lot of energy is getting kicked up and where there's energy kicking up, we can either get sucked into it and feel victimized by chaos and disempowered, or we can grab all that energy and manifest, create what we want with it, which may sound a little wild, but, um, I uh, want to tell you, and if what I'm about to tell you makes you feel jealous, then join these free live streams because it's not like, like I have been working on manifestation skills and studying it for, I don't know, like well over a decade, well over, I don't know how long, 15, 20 years maybe. And I have like literally traveled the world, talking with, interviewing, studying with people who are powerful manifestors. It's not their primary thing. Like people are really, really good at manifesting. This is like a side skill. So um, it all started years ago when I looked at people where like amazing things were just naturally happening for them. And I'd say, how do you do that? They're like, oh, I don't know. I ask my guides and they make it happen for me, which is like really great for them. But I'm like, Ugh, that is a terrible answer because it's not actionable for me. So I went out and I studied. I studied with all kinds of angelic manifestors, shamanic, like Buddhist, uh, druidic, uh, technical, sociological, uh, social worker type and business people, like every kind of manifestor I could to learn techniques and processes. So, um, and I didn't do it for any reason other than to really learn a lot so that then if people asked me, I could tell them. And also so I could know how to do it. I mean, if asking your guides make, makes things happen for you, heck yeah, I want to know how to do that. So if I'm, I'm about to tell you something and if it makes you feel jealous, then join the live streams. Um, because uh, starting this Sunday here on my Facebook page, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, I'm going to do a series of live streams where I interview like amazing variety of manifestors. So you could see like different ways of doing it. And then if you want to learn more after that, at the end of January, I'm doing um, four classes online on manifestation um, and I'm making the price really cheap, but if COVID has hit you and you're like, I can't afford even cheap, but I really want to learn this. Let me know. Let me know because I want people to learn this. Um, so this September, I, um, I was like, you know what? I want to buy a house. I want to buy a house with a lot of land so I can leave my house and go for a walk and not, you know, have to worry about a mask. Hi, Mila. Oh, mwah! send you a kiss too. Um, I want my own house with a lot of land. And um, I put that wish out there to my guides in like late September. And by mid-October, not only did I have literally my dream house, like literally, even with the weird details, like two wood stoves, solar power, a pond, a large pond, small lake, 13 acre body of water, 
on a hill just below my house, 43 acres of land uh, with lots of rocks and caves and like all the weird things, lots of woodwork, like all the weird stuff that I wanted in my house, this house has. 2,700 square feet, huge, huge two-car garage with workspace and then a separate shed and a big fire pit that's surrounded by boulders and the seating facing the sunset. It's just like so beautiful. But here's the thing. I manifested this situation, but I told my guides, honestly, I've been living sort of traveling the world. You know, I've been kind of like uh, homeless for the last three and a half years because I'd sold everything to travel, just like traveling the world. No, uh, you know, expectations, no hardcore monthly bills beyond my storage unit and you know, car insurance or whatever. I don't want to go into anything stressful. So I don't want to deal with mortgage. I do not. That's just the idea of going to a bank and all that was like really stressing me out. APRs and like, oh. So I just put in them. I really want a house. I do not want to deal with any stress. This house ended up coming to me as a gift. I received through a series of bizarre coincidences. In this very short time of my putting the wish out there, three weeks later, I had the house at zero dollars to me. The house was given to me. Um, the money came to me elsewhere, as well as the money for a big SUV car, because it's one and a mile, one and a quarter mile dirt and gravel road to get there. My little car wouldn't make it. And like everything fell into place, everything manifested for me to have this house. And I got it all for free and the car, half of the car for free. I'm, I got the money for half the car, uh, for all my stuff to be moved up the first year of insurance and, um, the cost of the movers, the first year of taxes, everything. Nothing had to come out of my pocket and it was no stress to anyone or anything like that. And then I put it to my guides that my website, I think it's pretty cool, but there's a lot I wanted to do to make it better. And I have a lot of friends who, you know, had to close their wellness centers who are also going online. I'd like to help them. So I put it, I want to be like better at web design bam, I got a full scholarship to take a one-year certification program at the local community college, Northern Virginia Community College online, a $10,000 scholarship for a one-year web design program. They contacted me and said, do you want this? I'm like, yeah, okay. So, um, so in a period of like two months, I went from like, you know, homeless bum hacking around. I mean, life was fine. I was earning the money I needed, but you know, I wasn't saving anything and I was on the road traveling. You know, it's like I was doing fine. I was happy to suddenly receiving a home, a car, and uh, one more college degree <laughs> um, on top of all the others um, just by my manifesting. And I was like, well, you know, I have a lot of friends and I'm sure there's a lot of people, all of us out there, we could use some manifesting right now. So I don't want to hoard this. I want everyone to be happy manifesting whatever we want. It's um, a lot easier than you would think. So um, this Sunday, and I'll put in the comments, the link here on my Facebook page, um, I start the interview series of talking with master manifestors. And these are more sharing anecdotes and, you know, talking about different techniques and styles. And so I, I will be interviewing a number of manifestors. And then if you feel like that's enough for you, awesome. If you want to go on and study with me to learn you know, more technically, then you can come on and take my course. Um, but I just want to make sure one way or another, as many people as want can learn 
how to manifest. Oh, Yo-Yo, I love you too. <laughs> uh, so that's it. Merry Christmas. My gift to you is the invitation to redefine your life to be however you want um, and help redefine our planet. So who knows? Because like I said, there's going to be a lot of chaos coming up. I mean, those of you who know me, I see the future. And you've been hearing my future visions for the last year and everything I said, even when speaking six, eight months in advance, it was all 100% accurate. So when I say there's a lot of chaos coming, <laughs> you don't need to be a psychic to know that it's coming. So let's grab that energy and use it for what we want. Um, I love you guys. And again, this Sunday, four o'clock, I'm interviewing Jean-Marie, who is an amazing, amazing manifester and an energy technician. Uh, she's going to be sharing some things that will like blow your mind. I know that because every time I talk with her, she blows my mind. And, and then um, on Wednesday, at four, I'll talk with Kim, the master of time. She's the woman who teaches time bending, and teaches you how to make time bubbles and to lengthen time, you know, stretch it out and to shorten it. She's like amazing. She will be in February running a time series for us. And then we're going on other, you know, we're going to talk with angelic and shamanic and like all kinds of manifestors about how they do what they do to make life extraordinary. So I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope your day is just filled with blessings and beautiful joy. Bye.